have a nice day. I'm Ruangi Bhagya Skodarachi and I'm glad to take this opportunity to present my research on critical analysis of global trends in pre-service teacher education. Education level of a country depends on multidimensional parameters. International standards, expert bodies and reviews consistently place teachers at the center of universal access to high quality and equitable education. Joint International Labour Organization UNESCO recommendations in 1966 also emphasize that advance in education depends largely on the qualifications and ability of the teaching staff in general and on the human pedagogical and technical qualities of the individual teachers. Therefore, a national education policy of a country which aims for a better education system should make considerable progress in teacher education as teachers are the pivotal change agent who shapes the minds and attitudes of the coming generations to deal with new global challenges and opportunities. Teacher education is a continuous process which is inseparable during the pre-service and in-service periods. Hence, pre-service teacher education plays a significant long-term investment in the preparation of a highly qualified teacher for an education system. The given figure illustrates the currently available professional development programs and institutions that are responsible for the professional development of teachers in Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka, pre-service teacher trainings are either conducted at 19 national colleges of education overseen by National Institute of Education or in Bachelor of Education programs at Sri Lankan's public universities. Though there are 17 universities in Sri Lanka, only University of Colombo and Open University have faculties of education and only the three universities have departments of education. Pre-service teacher education programs offered by National Colleges of Education consist of two years academic and professional education components in residential institute with one year internship leading to national diploma in teaching and would be employed by the Minister of Education and Higher Education as qualified teachers. The curricula offered by the National Colleges of Education had been designed using competency-based approach by the National Institute of Education with the participation of the representatives of teacher educators at National Colleges of Education. Global Trends in Teacher Education According to Joint International Labour Organization UNESCO 2006 report, all member states are obligated to meet the global education initiatives given in Education for All, Millennium Development Goals, the United Nations Decade of Education for Sustainable Development. Therefore, the emerging teacher role expectations have to be associated with increasingly complex knowledge societies. As the quality teacher is the most frequently pivotal factor which explains the quality of an education system, an enormous long-term policy implementation according to global trends on teacher education has become crucial importance. Hence, pre-service teacher education plays a significant long-term investment in the preparation of a highly qualified teacher for an education system a government should initiate suitable measures to make pre-service teacher education responsive to various levels of development and changes in the country. For that, critical analysis of global trends in pre-service teacher education is a timed requirement. Therefore, this study intends to identify the current issues of pre-service teacher education in Sri Lanka and thereby critically analyze the significant trends in pre-service teacher education in Finland, Canada and China to derive favorable suggestions for overall improvement of Sri Lankan pre-service teacher education which would be helpful in reforming Sri Lankan policy framework in future. Document research methodology was applied to describe and tabulate the significant trends in pre-service teacher education in Finland, Canada and China to propose favorable suggestions to minimize the existing deficiencies in Sri Lankan pre-service teacher education system. Results and discussions. 
Some current issues of pre-service teacher education offered by Sri Lankan universities are opportunities to incorporate the theoretical knowledge to their own practice, mainly limited to the 10 weeks of teaching practice in schools, competencies or subject content knowledge of B8 graduates mainly confined to the subjects offered by the Faculty of Arts and insufficient facilities to meet the demand for specially designed B8 programs to teach at the primary, junior secondary and senior secondary levels in schools. Some current issues of pre-service teacher education offered by National Colleges of Education are less than 2% of the students follow the training with an interest in teaching, enrollment rate of male students for teacher education is declining and dropouts of some students take place due to insufficient allowances or economic difficulties. Critical analysis of the significant trends in pre-service teacher education with respect to Finland, Canada and China. Teacher education in Finland. Finnish teacher education has two traditional lines of development for secondary education and elementary schools. A research-based approach in teacher education will be reinforced and the ultimate goal of the teacher education program is to develop an autonomous teacher personality. All the practice teaching periods are planned in order to realize this goal. Every teaching practice period is combined with detailed theoretical studies that are related to its topic. The aim is for student teachers to obtain increasing knowledge by which to support their teaching practice. Teacher education development is part of the Finland government's key project on new comprehensive school aiming to reform comprehensive school learning environments and teachers competence. Teacher education in Canada. In Canada, teacher education is embedded in a complex network of regulatory bodies which include provincial governments, accreditation agencies and universities. Essentially, there are four pathways of initial teacher education in Canada as consecutive model, concurrent model, graduate model, sole degree model. A formal evaluation and assessment are integral to the certification process. In order to teach in a province or territory of Canada, teachers must be certified by the relevant provincial or territorial certification authority. Teacher education in China. Chinese model of teacher education at present with its core features of independence, openness, adaptability and diversity based on Confucian pragmatism and epistemology can provide alternative ways of thinking about the reform and change of teacher education in the global community. With a lengthy legacy and rich characteristic of its own, the Chinese model of teacher education is likely to contribute vibrantly and dynamically to the world in the future. Conclusions Developed countries with the best education systems recruit only graduates who have an adequate professional qualifications with a license or a registration certificate as teachers. As a developing country, Sri Lankan education system can be reformed in a scientific manner by upgrading the pre-service teacher education according to the significant global trends. Recommendations. Pre-service teacher education in Sri Lanka should be more standardized at the university level to maintain equity in the recruitment stage. Standardized admission criteria should be introduced as quota system used to recruit trainees affect the quality of teacher education. Research-based approach should be emphasized instead of competency-based approach. Harmonious proportion of academic component and professional component should be maintained in a spiral curriculum with a vertical integration in pre-service teacher education. Highly elaborated and organized field experiences should be facilitated to develop autonomous teacher personality. The curriculum and syllabus of pre-service teacher education programs in Sri Lanka should be revised at least in every five years for updating its information and knowledge. Effective coordination should be practiced between National Education Commission, Minister of Education and Higher Education, National Institute of Education and University Grant Commission 
in reforming education policies. The final recommendation is legislative requirements and measures should be taken to establish consistently operating standardized procedures for a licensing system to supervise the professional development of a teacher. Here are the references. At last, but not least, I would like to express my sincere gratitude towards Dr. Cicero Hemanta of University of Peradeniya for mentoring my research work. Finally, my special thanks go to Dr. Ruan as well as the organizing committee of 2020 Dharma Raj Education Research Conference for giving me this valuable opportunity. Thank you.